living alone meeting new people it was a really a lot of thing in the first semester it's pretty and it's very serene in the inside the campus uh, actually do like, have some nice just, pictures that i will add that at the end of the video and when you were little upset so that will be really every day of the two year of that thing <laughs> No, 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 not like that. Like after the class. Hello, everyone, and welcome again to another session of Brute Force. And today, in this series of Live Your Dreams, we have with us Madhurima. So she is a gate top ranker. She is pursuing and completing her masters from IIT Guwahati. she has previous experience of being a software developer and also see, she is going to join uh, samsung uh, after completing her masters and rest of the things will uh, know about her journey her experiences and a lot about iit guwahati also for your benefit so if you are an aspirant uh, or, or a gate ranker already whatever you want to know i am pretty much sure you will have a clear uh, idea about clarity of your destiny about your future everything else from her so Madhurima, welcome to this podcast, and thank you very much for joining us today. Hi, Tata Gato. Thank you so much for inviting me here, and let's see what how can I help the community. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So, yeah. So we have a set of questions actually to discuss, but without uh, j- directly jumping into the set of questions, I have an uh, innate thought of myself that I want to know that. how your journey has been over the past 2 years it's like uh, like back in 2020 uh, 2021 or 2020 how did you see yourself and down the line after 2 3 years how do you see yourself right now has it has it all the journey or all the experiences the hard work was it worth it uh i will say yes obviously it was uh, worth it because uh, back in 2022 i was i was like before that time i was living with my parents and my home i never came out of my home before that so it was the first time i came here living alone uh making completely like meeting new people from other states who don't even understand my mother tongue i was i was uh, in west bengal all over my life i have never gone out i have never left my parents so it was a really a lot of thing in the first semester in iit obviously there is academic pressure and everything and apart from that it was a huge for me uh in the first week or first month it was very difficult for me like uh, but i was i am very much grateful to some people i met at that time in my hostel in my college who really helped me at that time uh, it was it was difficult but uh, i know for others also it will be very difficult because uh, just i mean many people just uh, come for the first time from their home uh, here and it's it's really a lot of uh, pressure here but uh, trust me you can do this like it initially it will be a lot of thing but uh, eventually we'll be able to overcome the things that you will be in a great place to be honest uh, most of the things you said i can relate to very closely because that is true for me also so that is the first time i moved out of my home i survived in in a different state in a different situation among different uh, like a whole lot of uh, cultural mixture so that was a different experience and down the line i think uh, it was nice it was worth it yeah yeah so uh, let's then dive into iit guwahati so i'm sure a lot of rankers are there who just cleared gate and very eager to decide which institute to choose right now and they want to know a bit about every uh, top tier institutions and also there can be aspirants who want to find motivation from your words so let's start with the uh, admission process so is there like some iits take some interviews or other things what is the admission process for guwahati Uh, in IIT Guwahati, there is no interview for computer science and engineering. Uh, and as far as I know, in data science also there is no interview. There is another uh, branch which is robotics and AI. If it is six uh, hundred or seven hundred get rank you are having, you can uh, 
uh, try for that branch also just see the curriculum once so it's uh, like there is no interview only uh, like you have to apply it go and do the registration and all then you can get the offer based on the cut off i see so you mentioned three different uh, degrees actually in computer science the usual mtech uh, and no, ai no. and okay uh, yeah yeah Okay. So Actually, there is a uh, there is, yeah, robotics and AI is a separate branch. Uh, I I don't remember what is the parent department of that stream. Uh, but there is another one which is data science. Uh, which is uh, uh, its parent department right now is computer science and mathematics. And okay. there is a school, Meta School of Data Science. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't remember the whole name, but uh -huh. that is a different school. Uh, mm -hmm. and. so that is a that is a very good uh, stream actually and uh, also uh, only not only from get cs uh, as far as i know other branches so uh, get students can also apply for that course or data science okay. course i see nice so that is the entrance process and then you go into directly into first semester how has the workload been what was the first time experience course works and everything how has it been Uh, obviously it was huge initially but it is manageable like uh, actually at that time for some reason uh, some course at uh, course schedule was not matching with the entire classes of uh, different subjects so we have we had a uh, class on uh, saturday also and sometimes we also have to give test on sunday so it was lot hectic at that time but uh it it totally depends on you uh how much pressure you you want to take so it's totally up to you it's like uh, if you're studying uh daily 2 3 hours it you can manage it just try to be consistent because uh, it's not like we take ki semester ke pehle baith ke uh, maybe it will be a little difficult but still you can do that because all the subjects are uh, not very unknown to you uh, related to computer science only and you have cleared gate so uh, in the first semester mostly we'll be having the algorithm courses uh, data structure lab so which is you have already done uh, but you have to do in more detailed way if you have forgot coding so obviously from first semester you have to start coding so mm -hmm. it will also help you in your uh, placement if you are doing it uh, yeah uh, like that and there is some other courses so uh, there are some i mean there are many of like uh, options available from a pool of courses is there from where you can uh, choose according to your like mostly it's not very hectic like uh, it it's it's manageable you can do it so i want to just clear up things to the viewers she mentioned about studying 2 3 hours daily and everything will be covered so that is For the obedient and good students like her, my seniors who they they mentioned to me in the first semester that ha you study two three hours a day and that will be good enough. It was never for me. Maybe because of the reason that I never studied for two three hours a day. But anyways. बेटा तुमसे ना हो पाएगा. Um, yeah, and what about the course works? Like, how many courses? What is the course work structure? How many courses are there? Ah, uh, in first semester, actually, you have to take five courses. From mm -hmm. them, ah, uh, four of them, ah, uh, okay, three of them were compulsory. Like, ah, uh, data structure lab was there, and mm -hmm. design and analysis of algorithm, and the another course was mathematics. And apart from them. You can choose according two are to two electives. Okay, and in total yes, of the intake, how many courses you have to do? Uh, actually, there uh, there are I think twenty four credit. I hmm. don't exactly remember, but it it's like some credit you have to fill. So in the hmm. first semester, all of us uh, were taking five subjects only. In second semester, we'll be having four subjects. uh like uh, in second semester only one subject is compulsory that is system lab in that subject you have to do some assignment related to computer networks and operating system okay uh and another three subjects are electives so you can choose according to your wish and there are lot of electives so you can choose okay so in now in, you are in the fourth semester do you have any courses right now No, in the second year we only have thesis, so there are lot of time for placement mm -hmm. preparation. 
Okay, then uh, coming to the points of internships, a lot of IITs does not allow that for uh, MTech. Mm-hmm. What is the situation and scenario? Actually, uh, before COVID, it was allowed in IIT Guwahati. After COVID, uh, there were there was some TA duty in the summer time. So uh, our department was not allowing for internship. But from this year onwards, uh, they are again allowing. So you can do it. So we can take that as a yes that it is kind of allowed. Yeah. Yes. But yes. 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 From like batch. our juniors are allowed. Yes. It is. Yeah. Okay, so the internships allow is nice. Actually, most of the IITs don't. I uh, figured out like IIT Madras and then IIT Guwahati does that, but others don't, and that is something that we were fighting for in the department. But no point of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So okay, then coming to uh, f- like moving ahead from the professional side, what about the lifestyle there? Like uh, you know, campus life, activities, parties, fun. Okay, so. Uh, Relevant to this question, I want to ask something that uh, where the IIT is actually located. Is it somewhere to like where you can see vibrant nature or or like landscapes and everything? Because we know that uh, like Guwahati has a bit of uh, mountain and hilly structures and it's nice. I have been there, but I want to know where the location actually is. Actually, uh, I think uh, most of you know that IIT Guwahati is the most beautiful IIT. So yeah, there are a lot of uh, beautiful uh, nature, beaut- I mean natural beauty in the campus also. There are hills, there are lakes, and uh, it's it's very pretty and it's very serene in the inside the campus. Uh, Actually, do like, you have some nice is, pictures that I will add that at the end of the video? Of, yeah, like, yeah, I will. I will share. With you. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So yeah. so there are uh, yeah. Continue. Continue. Uh, no, you can carry on. So actually there is a lake which is serpentine lake which is a like a place where you can just go and see it where you are a little upset or you just want to enjoy the nature you can go and see it uh, and little also so that was uh, right nearly two years of them take journey like, uh, really two years of Are kehna kya chahte ho? No, you you said that when you were little upset, so that will be really every day of the two year of the tech journey. <laughs> no, 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 not like that. Like after the class, you can go and see it. Uh, during placement, when it's a uh, huge, like when it's pressure and uh, tests are going on, at that time if you feel little stressed, you can go and sit there. Uh, it's very the campus is very beautiful. I see. And what about the other like campus activities? Like, how's the lifestyle there? About uh, hostels, there, there are a lot of activities, activities. funs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, mostly in IIT Guwahati, uh, M Tech sec M Tech second years get single room. So that is there. There are a lot of. I mean, uh, there is no shortage of hostel, but right now there is a little shortage. Before COVID, it was a. Uh, like first year also used to get second room right now we in the first year we didn't get uh and uh, there are a lot of activities going on uh the fests are there uh there is every facility is available like in our other iits so gym facility is there sports facility every kind of sports facility is there we have gym trainers also in uh in women gym we have trainers uh there are for every sports you will be having a lot of opportunity in hostel level also in hostel we also have a small gym like some uh, yeah, equipments uh-huh, are there uh-huh. yeah so it's good you know i also when first time came here i saw that there are so many different activities going on so many clubs mm-hmm. of course fitness wagera everything is there i was very eager to mm-hmm. explore a lot of that and actually i did i explored zero of them so i literally did nothing i thought i will do a lot of things i did nothing yeah yeah <laughs> two years is very less time to explore everything because in first year you will just uh, explore the courses and <laughs> you will and try the campus surroundings everything and you know mtech is actually yeah. goes through a lot of pressure because we have to finish yeah. so much of courses do the thesis pre- uh, prepare for our placements mm-hmm. 
so a lot of things we like have yeah, yeah. duties also yeah exactly tier duties uh yeah so now let us come to the most important thing why people uh look for iits that is the placement and just for the information if someone someone of the viewers is a new to this field or or does not know a lot about the previous history of gate and gate rankers so i think what is popularly regarded or known to have one of the highest packages in actually all of the iits it is popularly regarded for the last 3 4 years i have been following that in somehow uh, the highest package among all the iits go to iit uh, goati only so that can be one big motivation for you and apart from that i know this is recession time and actually all over india the placements were a bit low but uh, still how the placements have been there uh, as a recession was going on so everyone was a uh, little tensed uh, during the placement time uh, and also there are btech students so it's like uh, competing with them but for like it's a great thing we all were surprised on day 0 many of our mtech cs students uh, were placed actually uh, almost 10 to 15 students were placed on day 0 itself so uh, and then day 1 also it was uh, good but after that uh, from day 2 actually in all the it is as as i heard from my other friends from you also that there there were a lot of problems going on uh, but it was a bad time recession was there but uh, hopefully next year it will be very good internship is also allowed now so i think it will be good this time very good this time but actually even comparing to uh, other institutions i think uh, like not just iits about other institutions i think still in during recession time it was a, a great placement season like about yeah. the package amount about the companies so the companies were big names actually uh, as far as i have we have heard and also the packages were decent everything was nice after all i think yeah it was good in iit uh, see in iit companies will come so you just uh, keep faith in yourself you just prepare for it if uh, you have done preparation you will get placement you don't have to worry about it just keep patience and it will do great i saw some people talking online that why uh, you want to go into iits directly uh, get some offer during the recession time but that is i don't prefer that is a good thing because even during the recession time the iits had really good offers so, yeah yeah so those were mostly the questions we had about iit got i'm sure uh, the viewers will be uh, going back home with a lot of insights about like if you as i mentioned if you are already a ranker you must be uh, having clarity about where do you want to go what should be your path uh, following ahead and if you are an aspirant i'm sure you will ha- be having a lot of uh, motivation from her experiences what she did throughout uh, the last two years about all the stories she mentioned so uh, i guess that's it for today and thanks again odrima for joining us and sharing your experiences thanks you thanks to you thank for thank you Thanks to you for watching till the end and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and like the video and bye bye